but he's the better half. You're too kind, but I agree. <laughs> Very well done, guys. All right. And as always, you just watched instead of joining in the fun. I'm saving my energy for something bigger. What is it this time, Tom? I suppose you two know about the New People's Freedom Army in the South Pacific. Yeah? So? Well, I'm sure you know they're supposed to be fighting against communism. Yeah, just what we want. Right. You never know about these groups. They can be against something today. Then, when they get some power, they become like the enemy they once fought. So what's our mission? We want to stabilize the situation. Mm. Keep an eye on them. Make sure that they don't fly off in the wrong direction. How are you going to do that? By getting someone to infiltrate them. Who have you picked? Alexander Sampson. Good choice. Alexander doesn't know about it yet, so I want you two to let him know about it. No problem. You know where to find him? Sure. Come on. Hmm. So what do you say, Alexander? I suppose I'll do it. It's better than just being here trying to keep busy. But one thing I don't know, how do I go inside? It isn't easy. I can't just show up and say I want to join. That's out of the question. Don't worry, we'll arrange everything. Yeah, we'll spread the word that you were once a revolutionary fighter for a similar cause, now living in temporary retirement. They'll buy it. They can always use an experienced fighter. And you'll arrange it. It shouldn't take too long. We'll let you know when you can move. All right, I'll wait here then. Take a good rest. You might need it. Thank you. 
Commonwealth. Is your name Alexander Samson? And so what if that is my name? What do you want from me? You will find out! <laughs> you ain't tough. <laughs> What's going on? Well, your guess is as good as mine. Samson, huh? What's this all about? You're all being trained. I'm your training officer. And you will learn that without my permission, you will not speak. <laughs> <laughs> What you're doing is against the law. You don't have our consent. You better watch yourself. You're asking for it, Alexander. Now I'm in a good mood. So I'll ignore your outburst. We are the new People's Freedom Army. And you are all our new recruits. And, as you know, I'm your training officer. When you graduate, and only then, can you call me by my name, Abdul. Now listen, if you've only known an easy life, well then, I'm going to change all that and put you through hell. Burn, and you'll come out good soldiers. All of you men! Come on, move it. No. Oh. Oh. oh, faster. Move it. Move it. Move. Come on, you're not trying hard enough. 
Spencer! Whoa! Oh. Oh. Hurry it up! Wanted to? against him. Suppose it was all my fault. Don't let it happen again. Listen up, you men. We don't fight amongst ourselves. There's a war going on. And in order to win this war, we have to stick together, side by side. <laughs> Mark, have you been keeping an eye on the new People's Freedom Army, like I told you to? Yes, Commander Victor, I have. Their group has been getting steadily bigger and bigger. We have to get inside the group and gain control over them. I got it made if I can get them to listen to me. Then I can lead my own private army. Except now we're getting competitors. What are you saying, Sanderson? The Americans. They seem to have a high interest in the group, too. The Americans? Ha! Huh. They have an interest in every fucking thing that's going on in the world, don't they? I know, but this time they've actually sent a group over here. Really? really? Yes. Then we must get them out of our way. Right. What's their strength? Can you tell me that? From the intelligence report, very small. Good. Since you seem to know the situation, I'll leave the job up to you. I won't disappoint you, Commander. I know you won't. You must be Alexander. Yes, I am. Nice to meet you. I'm Commander Hajiman, and this is Terry. 
Commander Jerry. There's Commander Ahmed. And Chico. We're all just like a big family here, so we welcome you. It feels like home. You've all gone through the training? Yes, we have. So, where do we go from here? First, we'll go back to our headquarters. We'll plan our next move from there. We're still quite small compared with our enemy's guerrilla army. But we know how to use our strength, and no one else knows the location of our camp. That's very good to hear. And what about our firepower? That you don't have to worry about. All our supplies are more than sufficient. I must agree with Terry. Ammunition is the one thing that you will not have to worry about. We have the situation under control. We have suppliers from places you wouldn't even have heard about. Looks like a good place here. Mm. We'll set up camp for the night. We're way ahead of schedule. Tomorrow we're gonna meet Alexander at the rendezvous point, all right? Mm. Mm. Great. Okay. In that case, we can all get a good long sleep. Yeah. Sure can use one. Right. Mm. who they are I have the slightest idea but I'll contact headquarters to see what they know mm. nice to see you again Ahmed tell me how's it going fine thank you sir the group has just gotten a new squad of fighters mm, interesting I think it's time now to make our move before the group can get any bigger than it is I think that you'll agree you know their location so you should just go ahead all right, then. Be careful. Thank you, sir. Lieutenant. Sir. Prepare your men. Tell them the operation is about to commence. Yes, sir.
Hmm. Thank you very much, Terry. Sure.
hurry before anyone sees what we're doing. Shit. This guy's got a sinkhole. Hurry up, man! Before they catch us! Then we'll be in deep shit! Come on! Let's go! Lucky, you know, to be alive. Could have been wiped out. You know? Yes, I know. Someone sold us down the river. I'm glad you're safe. Good to know that you're safe. I thought I wouldn't see you again. We were surrounded and had to break through. Very good work, all of you men. How did they find out about our camp? I think someone in our group is not what he seems to be. We have a traitor. And I think it might be Ahmed. Are they, do you really think so? I do. Who wasn't among us during the attack today? I think it must be none other than Ahmed who sold us to the opposition. I have no doubt that it was him who has become a traitor. We gotta find him. And question him to be sure, though. We could be wrong after all. Don't you agree, Alexander? He is right. We must find Ahmed and bring him back. Right, sir. Alexander, that surprise attack from the army was caused by someone in the group who told the army about your location, and we found the traitor to be Ahmed. Ahmed? That bastard. If he's allowed to get away with this, it'll be a great disadvantage to us. I know what to do. And I'll get even with him. You just watch. Good. There's also another group of traitors who are interested in the People's Freedom Army. That group's leader is Roman Victor. I think sooner or later he's going to make his move, so be on the lookout. Right, I will. Hmm. Have another beer. Yeah, all right. Drink all you want. It's on me, soldier, all right? You drink up. All right. It's a celebration now. So what do you think? Did we do all right or what? Well? Yeah, all right. I think we did good. Of course you guys did good. Those idiots were unprepared. Hmm, maybe so, but those guys were tough. A lot of them got away. And scared shitless. You think so? I mean, it was all thanks to you. <laughs> it's nothing.
I made. It's your lucky day. So tell me, what's your name? You can just call me Laura. Hi, Laura. Hello. I'm glad you're here. I thought you might not show up. But I came, just like you asked. I'm so glad you came. I really hoped you would. I have a feeling this will be a special evening for us both. Hey, fellas. What are you doing here? I think you know damn well. Laura? Uh, <laughs> but why? A lot of my countrymen were killed because of you. I mean, what do you have to say? Listen, it wasn't my fault. You're making a mistake here. Tell that to the guy way down there in hell. Tell him your excuses. I'm sure he'd like to listen. No. All right, let's go. Let go of me. I haven't done anything! Uh, uh, please! Uh, let me go! I'm innocent! I haven't done anything, you bastard! Let me go! Uh, 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 leave me! Let go of me! I haven't done anything, you bastard! Let go of me! Let me go! I'm innocent! I haven't done anything! This is something should never have happened. Sir? Lieutenant, wipe them all out. Yes, sir.
return most of my men to safety. Thank you. It wasn't just me. It was by working together that we all got out. You all hear that? A real leader in the making. The moment that I laid eyes on you, I knew you were special. So I will make you a commander. You will work alongside Commander Jerry here. Oh, oh. I really don't know what I can say. <laughs> it won't be an easy job. Thank you very much, sir. Sir, Alexander isn't experienced enough yet. You can't. That's right, sir. He's too new. What about Chico? Enough. I don't want to hear any more from you two. Is that understood? Yes, it is, sir. I will do my best. You will not be disappointed. I swear to you, you will not regret this decision. Sir, I know Alexander will do a good job, and I'll gladly follow. Let's go inside, sir. Hey, buddy, it's unfair, isn't it? You should be the one. What are you going to do about it? Right. So this is it. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. I'm not worried about this American force. We failed one time, so what? It's just a matter of time before we finish them. Yes, Commander. You can just leave them to me. I'll make sure they're taken care of. Very well, Mark. Now with that business taken care of, we can turn our attention back to more important things, Sanderson. How about that report? As you probably already know, the People's Freedom Army fought a very good battle against the local army. The local army suffered a great loss in this battle. With their recent victory, the People's Freedom Army also has a new commander. His name is Alexander Sampson. Is that so? What kind of a man is this Alexander Sampson? I couldn't find out anything useful on him. There's practically no background information on him. Still, I gotta check him out. You think you can arrange a meeting for him with me? Well, no problem. Let's see what stuff this guy is made of. Maybe he's just the guy that we need. Maybe. Mm. Mm. See you later. Don't tell anybody, all right? OK. What is this, Chico? Well, nothing, Commander. Visiting our supply room so late in the night, huh? Well, some of my men got hungry, so I thought, well, I'm sure you'll let us eat, right? Wasn't that right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Well, you can't take it. What are you trying to do? Come on, Commander. Put it back right now. And that's a direct order. And you'll be under surveillance. I'm familiar with your kind. I saw what you did before. You weren't busy fighting during that surprise attack. But that's past business, and I'm willing to forget all about that. So don't do anything to make me change my mind. Because I will do that. And with no regrets. I'm sure you understand me perfectly. So are you going to put the supplies back or what? You've made your point perfectly clear. Of course I'll put it back. Although I won't forget you for this. Don't make any more mistakes. We've got to stick together. Let's cooperate. It's the only way if we want to win the battle. Commander Alexander, don't give me any of your speeches. You know I speak the truth and nothing more. You men put their supplies back. Thank you, Commander. It's not the first time for them to make off with supplies. You didn't do anything wrong at all. Now go back to bed. I'm sure they won't try anything like that again, so you can relax now. Don't you worry. Hmm. We gotta go. Good night, Commander. Thank you. 
Mr. Sampson, you're not being very realistic. If we combine forces, you can accomplish your goal a lot sooner. We must work to help each other. Our army doesn't need any help. You're being very stubborn. Don't you see that we're fighting for the same cause? No, I don't see. All right. If that's the way you feel, I won't press you. But you just made yourself a very foolish mistake.
go help him, huh? How is he? Sir, they got his kneecap. <laughs> it's really bad. We must get him to a doctor. You know something? He was really brave out there, Commander. He didn't care about his own safety at all. And whether he's injured or not, He's better than ten men put together. We're gonna have to send him to the hospital right away. No matter what the consequences may be. So you two men, go with Rick and take Alexander to the hospital. Yes, Commander. Hmm. Alexander, I'm not going to say anything to make you feel better. Shit, if it happened to me, I know how I'd feel. I'm going to lay it out straight for you. Because of what happened, it's up to you to decide whether or not to continue with the mission. If you got to leave, just say so. Then what we've worked so hard for is finished. The choice is up to you. I want to stay. I don't go down that easily. Good. I didn't think you would. You know, Victor might just take this chance to try something. So keep your eyes open and let us know if you find out anything. Take care. Don't you worry about him. I'm sure he'll be all right. But, sir, I'm carrying his child. Hmm. Don't you worry about him, Terry. He'll come back to you soon. This should work wonders. Thank Thompson, will you? I'll walk again soon. One must never give up. We knew you'd get tired of flying down. It may take a while, but you'll get used to it. But I'm sure you will before too long. You control with your muscle. It's almost like the real thing. It won't be easy in the beginning, though. You better take these, too. 
It's a real fine piece of machinery, isn't it? That will remind you that the day will come. And I will never forget it. I won't rest until the mission is accomplished. I'm sure they'll be happy to hear that good news. Everyone's eager for you to get back into the field. You know that, don't you? Yes. They're coming this way now. Good. Remember, do everything as planned. Go on. to your arm, boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Tell me or you're dead. Fuck you, asshole. Don't fuck with me. Let's finish him off. Oh. Hey. Hey. Alexander. Good afternoon. Keep your eyes open here, huh? Wait here. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Henry, Chico, did you check and make sure that all our supplies came in this morning? Hmm? Yeah, they're all here, sir. What's up? Not too much. A quiet day, huh? Oh, a bit too quiet for my taste to tell the truth. Oh, sir, I think we should split up our supplies. It's not very safe. To store all our supplies in one place. What if there's another attack? What do you think of the idea? <laughs> As usual, you're right. I'll see to it. Well, you do remember what happened last time when they attacked us. Most of us managed to get away, but they got all our supplies. That was a bad business. Yes, sir, I know. But it won't happen again.
I don't know, Alexander. He's not in a very good mood today, is he? certain your information is correct? Yes, there's no mistake. Mark was killed by the American force. Those motherfuckers! We all underestimated them. We must do something about them. Of course, we can't let Mark die for nothing. Try to find out as much as possible about this fucking American force, then get rid of them. Will do, Commander. Did you do what I told you to do? Yes, Commander. That Alexander, I'll teach him for not cooperating. When the time bomb that I told you to set goes off, a state of confusion will result, and Chico will take the chance and kill Alexander. He will then find the briefcase that contains his instruction. Yes, then the group will be under my control. It's brilliant, Commander. I knew our chance would eventually come. When I have the whole army to myself, then the American force will mean nothing to me or even the government. Your day will come. You just watch. You will rise to power, and then the world will take you seriously and not just think about you as another loudmouth terrorist. Alexander, what'd you do it? 
You better explain! The master's crazy! I say we kill him! Explain! Come on! Here! See for yourself. There was a time bomb in there. It could have easily killed us all. It was lucky that Alexander found the briefcase in time. Otherwise, all our work would have been wasted. But we don't know who the instructions were for. So Alexander's still in danger. Right. But he can take care of himself. I think he has his suspicion as to who the briefcase was meant for. You know what I think? I think we should kill that victor. And as long as he's still alive, he's bound to try something like that again. I'm with you 100%. As soon as I can locate their headquarters, we'll go in and light up their lives. So you think we need reinforcements for that? <coughs> What's the matter with you, Woody? You don't got it anymore? Just be careful. Woody's right. But I don't think we'll need any help. It shouldn't be any problem if we go in with a plan. And we will. Right. I think you will all agree that we must find out who the briefcase was meant for. Who do you suspect, Commander? Every single person in this room, yourself included. And anyone who thinks about it would suspect everyone as well. It's the only way for us to stay alive. Well, I'll tell you what I think. I'm pretty sure it's one man. Why, well, he could be against many here. Yes, I've thought of that too. Apparently, Victor has many supporters among us and around us. It's important that we realize that Victor is an enemy. Don't let him trick you to think otherwise. He's everything we've been fighting against. Commander, we should make our move and destroy him. He's too dangerous to have around here. I agree with you, but I think we shouldn't do any fighting until we find out who the traitors are. Otherwise, our plans will only be destroyed. I hate to have to make this announcement, but you're all restricted. No one leaves without permission. That's a very good idea. I'm with you on that. One more thing. Each and every one of us is in danger at this moment. So everybody, please be careful. The enemy could be anywhere. It's bad, Chico. I think that bastard knows it's us. God damn that bastard. We have to get out. We can't stick around. But how do we get out? Don't worry, I'll find some way. You just wait and see. And Commander Alexander. He'll regret coming back. Sir. What is it? Commander, the Americans have been sighted. Looks like they're on the move here. Those assholes. Get all the men ready. Let's give those guys 
A welcome that they'll remember for the rest of their short lives. Yes, sir. Hmm. Look, Chico. Of course. We'll lead them back to the camp. They'll finish the job for us.
Hmm. Well, Alexander, you were right after all. Good thing we caught them. Before things got any worse. I guess we were plain lucky. Their strength was increasing. Alexander! Look at that. This little guy must be hungry. He looks like you. We'll teach him to know the difference between right and wrong. Maybe by the time he grows up, we won't have to fight anymore. Congratulations, Alexander. Let's go. So where the hell are they? I thought you said they were seen making their way over here. They should be here by now. We better be careful. You send two guys and try to find them. Come on. What the hell's taking them so long? We can't wait anymore. Let's split up and see if we can find them. And be careful. Good. 
Hey! Hey! Ha 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 ha! Ah, you! You bastard! <laughs> <laughs>